What's up guys? Welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we're going to be talking all about maintaining the temperature in your aquarium. So make sure you stay tuned to find out more. Hey Fanatics family, welcome back. As always, check out those links in the description and make sure to check out our website. Hopefully in the very near future, we're gonna be making our website better. We're gonna be adding an online store and updating it a little bit. So keep an eye out for that. Today, as I said, we're gonna be talking all about temperature in your aquarium, maintaining it and how to heat as well. So there's gonna be three main points of this video. So firstly, let me bring it on to heating your tank. A lot of goldfish keepers especially will say you don't need to heat your tank. Your fish are cold water fish, even though they are temperate fish, and you do not need a heater. However, for the longevity of your fish, for the health of your fish, it is far better to have stability. Now, I'm not advocating heating, I'm not advocating no heating, I'm just saying that stability is far more important than a fluctuating temperature. Now, this can be maintained in numerous different ways. A lot of people have quite warm rooms, like their living room is quite warm, and that maintains the temperature of their tank quite nicely. However, in the nighttime, the the temperature can change a little bit and it can dip down, especially in a small body of water. If you've got a larger tank, this is not so much of an issue, but I recommend using a heater to maintain your water temperature at a nice steady rate, whether that be 16 degrees, 18 degrees, 20 or even 30 degrees for that matter. So you can use many different types of heaters for this. So most of us hobbyists will use a glass aquarium heater, just like this one here. So this is just a 200 watt Hydon heater. And you can see just on the side here, as you turn the red handle at the top, the temperature is increased and decreased to set our range. The only thing with these heaters is they can be quite inaccurate, although they can be very cheap. I think this was around 12 pounds, so really cheap. and you, if it breaks, you can buy another one. However, the temperature can be a little bit inaccurate. For us fancy goldfish keepers, this is not too much of an issue because we are just trying to maintain stability. However, sometimes the heater may turn off, it may wait for the water to cool, then it may heat it back up, causing fluctuations in that. Also, these have a small built-in thermostat that has been known to fail on all different brands of heaters, not just these ones, but just as an example, if these thermostats fail, they could turn off and stop the heater from working. And in winter, you're at night potentially, your temperature could plummet down, which is not good for the health of your fish, and it could cause some stress or potential issues. Now on the flip side, in summer, potentially your heater could stick on, really heating that water up and causing your fish to suffer Potentially you might be away because most of our problems occur when we go away and leave our fish to their own devices So that is another thing to think about with glass heaters just like this one Alternatively what I would recommend is using a titanium heater just like this one here now these heaters are absolutely great they just have an on function so there is far less to go wrong with them they are titanium so if potentially you drained your water down forgot you left your heater on it's not going to crack although it is not great to do that it's not going to crack and smash everywhere like a glass one would and cover your tank in glass and potentially electrocute the fish the only problem with the titanium heaters is they need a thermostat to maintain that temperature but this provides far more redundancy to your system when doing so. And this brings me on to temperature control. This is the Inkbird temperature controller. It is the ITC308. And this also has Wi-Fi control as well, which is really 
really interesting and I'm actually going to be doing an unboxing video next video and also telling you how you can use this and apply it to your setup whether that be your small fancy goldfish tank or your large potentially indoor pond system these have a multitude of uses and are really good and they actually don't cost that much either now a temperature control is absolutely a great piece of kit and it provides so much redundancy i'm actually going to be using that temperature controller on this tank and although i've got a large glass heater it is going to really reduce that risk of that heater going wrong and it is going to provide me with far more stable accurate water temperatures which is more necessary in the tropical aquariums rather than our fancy goldfish tanks but still if you're a dedicated hobbyist it is a great piece of kit to have on standby not only do these temperature controllers turn on and off the heater, but they also, the majority of them, have a cooling element as well, where you can plug some fans in, potentially in summer if your tank's getting too warm, or a chiller, which will automatically turn it on when the water temperature reaches a certain level, which is really, really good. And now with the Wi-Fi capabilities as well, you can have it all connected to an app where you can see your temperature live on your phone, which is really great. That was quite a short video, but hopefully I covered the different methods of heating and maybe gave you guys something to think about if your room temperature is fluctuating a lot or if you've got an outdoor pond potentially and you want to maintain that water level a bit more stable and also maybe you're growing on some f small fancy goldfish for instance and you want to have those temperatures nice and warm so their growth can be uh, exponential really and get nice good growth on them before the end of the season and that is why it's always really good to use a good quality heater to keep that temperature nice and stable so that's it for this video in the next video i'm going to be doing the unboxing on that inkbird temperature controller and also showing you how to set up and also how to use temperature controllers in the future because there are lots of different types you don't just have to use the one that i've purchased for instance there are many different types and also different budget ranges as well so i hope you've enjoyed this video on our back to basics about heating your water and keeping your water at a stable water temperature thank you all for watching remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping Thank you.